You love your neighborhood. You like your neighbors. You and your neighbors take good care of your homes. But there's that one house. What were you thinking? Hi, I'm Jill Block, and I'm your host for What Were You Thinking? A Neighborhood Intervention. What Were You Thinking? is a show about people who love their homes, love their neighbors, and love their street. But there's that one house that sticks out like a sore thumb due to bad design, poor upkeep, or a renovation that was started but never finished. The neighbors are mad and they have a right to be. And that's when they call us and we come in and get that neighborhood and that street back to where it belongs. One of the most exciting things we've done for this show is put together an incredible team. The house will tell you what you can do to it. And if you overdo it, then that's what you get. Tim, our contractor, has had years of experience renovating homes, and Mitch, our architect, is a celebrity designer. He designs multi-million dollar properties, and he's going to be spending his creative energy on homes just like yours and mine. In this series, what we're trying to do is show people how we can take what may look to be a hopeless case and do something incredible with it with the least amount of money. My job is to work with the neighbors to convince the homeowners that we have a solution. One that will make them happy and the neighbors happy. Let me tell you about Jill. She has a gift for dealing with delicate situations. This is the time where we confront the homeowner. Dun, dun, da, da. For somebody to go to them and say, guess what? We're here to try to improve your house. I'm sure the first reaction is, how dare you? Be prepared to step into some war zones. This could get ugly. But Jill has such a sweet and engaging personality. She's able to make them feel comfortable. She's able to bring them to the understanding that we're here to help. Hey, Tim, what can we do? I'm here. I hear we're going to do some sawing today. This is going to be a long day. <laughs> It's such a drag when neighbors don't get along, and a lot of the time it's because one neighbor isn't taking care of their property, and it affects everybody on the street. Hi, I'm Janie Clark, and my husband Philip and I have lived here for the past 12 years with our four children, and we love the big yards, and we just love living here. The only problem is, we have a house down the street at the beginning of the neighborhood, but they started a renovation five years ago, and we were excited about it then because we thought, oh, it's going to be great, it's updated, it's going to look really nice, and then they just stopped two years into the project, and it's been sitting there for three years, just ugly. Hi, I'm Rock. This is Gene. We've uh, been living here 15, 20, 20 years, time 20 goes years, by. time goes by, <laughs> and we love this neighborhood. We were really, really happy with it. But that is something that's driving me nuts. It is a disaster. <laughs> you want to know the truth, and we really wish someone would come along and help them or help us or get something going here. Because the whole neighborhood's upset with this. Talk to my neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. We've talked to your neighbors. Nice folks, but um, I can understand what they might be going through. What was I thinking? I'll tell you what I was thinking when I first bought this place. This is the nicest neighborhood I've ever lived in. When I started this project, I had a, a single with a big country star that was going to make me about three hundred thousand dollars. It's a lot of money, especially to a guy like me. And you know, when I started this thing. Um, I had every intention of doing a beautiful job and, and really elevating this house to the place where you know I fit in and the house looked nice. And um, the deal fell through and the song never made the record and I started the project and, and now I, you know, I feel like a homeless guy in a beautiful neighborhood. Regardless of what Buddy had in mind for or what his vision may have been for this house, we thought it'd be good to come up with another idea that says, okay, what could we do for the least amount of money 
that would really dress this up where people would drive by and go, oh my goodness, what a cute house, what an adorable house, what a nice way to have, have approached that remodeling. All right, so we're gonna get this done. All right. You in? I'm in. We're in? All right. All right, we're gonna go get to work. We'll get right. the team. Yeah. Is it harder to correct damage that's been done than starting fresh? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I would think so. It's always easier to start over. I mean, to start from the beginning on a brand new house that's never been touched, but the damage is done, so now we've got to fix it. I'm going to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Did he say silk purse out of a sow's ear? The sound of construction thrills me. Let's get after it. Come on. Well, you know, and, and it has been hard because there's so much that I want to do here, and I should probably water that plant. You know, I think that's something you could do. And I've seen the design work that Mitch, the architect, has put together for us, and I'm pretty excited about what they're going to do. And, you know, being a songwriter, I'm, I'm excited about being a part of the creative process and taking this house from where it is now to where it can be. And um, I'm actually kind of thankful the neighbors turned me in. So just remember, being a good neighbor means never making your neighbors ask, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? What were you thinking? What were you thinking? What were you thinking?